Hello everyone, this is Tim Perfit, and uh, today I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, smart cards and a new utility I've been working on called Smart Card Utility um, for the Mac, uh, for Mac OS. So just briefly, a smart card is something that you use to authenticate to your Mac and to other services. Um, it contains certificates and private keys. Um, the important thing is that it's uh, there. Uh, you can't extract them from the, the card, um, so it's a very secure way to authenticate. Um, the way that you use them on your Mac is you have a smart card reader. You can see I have a smart card reader plugged into the side uh, of my keyboard here. Um, so I just insert this in and I think it start using the smart card. Um, I wrote a uh, utility called Smart Card Utility. It's available on the App Store. So if you go to the Mac App Store and type in Smart Card Utility, and search you can see that there it is you can download it and download it today I won't download it um, because I already have it installed so I'll launch it and you see the first thing it tells me to do is insert my smart card so I'll just take my smart card and I'll put it into the slot and you can see once it inserts it'll automatically refresh and show me the contents of that card this SCM microsystems is the actual smart card reader so you can see I actually have only one of the four slots available uh, populated with the certificate. If I double click on it, you can actually see the certificate, go to details and get all the information. So it's a great way to see what certificates are on your card and what the status is. You can see on this one that, it, um, that it's uh, not trusted because I would install the other certificates that are required for uh, verification of it. Um, so it's a great way to kind of see the status of it. Um, you can also, when, normally when you're authenticating to a service, you uh, put in your PIN to allow access to the identities on the smart card. We have the ability rate in smart card utility to change the pin. So I just put in my old pin. And uh, oops, I have an invalid pin. So you can see that tells me the number of tries I have left. And so then I will put in uh, hopefully the correct one. There it goes. And so my pin's been changed. So now that allows me, so now I can, uh, whenever I'm using that, I can use that new pen. A uh, couple other options, I can view the certificates just like double clicking on it. Uh, we can do what's called an identity preference. An identity preference is, um, for example, if you have a website that uses certificate-based authentication and you wanna use your smart card, um, it, your browser needs to know which certificate to choose um, when it's authenticating to the service. And so an identity preference puts an item in the keychain that tells um, what's, uh, what location should be used for that certificate. So for example, if I said that I wanted to use this certificate that I have highlighted for a website, and let's say the website is https colon slash slash two canoes dot com uh, mail. Let's just say I authenticate to my mail that way. And what that does is if you look in keychain access, uh, that there is now a key there is a identity preference that maps that URL to the uh, certificate because the certificates on the smart card doesn't actually show up here but it is indeed it is mapped and so it will work. Um, the next option is the ability to save a certificate. So if I want to save the certificate out and email it, share it with somebody, you can see that I just saved it onto the desktop and I can do whatever I wanted to with it. Um, the other kind of uh, there's an, another option is more info. If you go to more info, it opens up a web browser and shows uh, detailed information about getting smart cards set up, uh, logging and uh, troubleshooting for smart cards on the Mac. Um, the other, uh, uh, the last option I'm going to show is there's a uh, logging option. If you select this, um, uh, you can, there's a command that you can run that turns on verbose logging. And so uh, will make it very easy. Just click co uh, copy command, open up terminal, paste it in. And now if I uh, put in my password to allow it, it's now uh, um, running deep verbose logging. So if I unplug the smart card and plug it back in. No, nope, I'm sorry. I, have to, I believe I have to plug the reader and then plug the reader back in. There we go. Okay, plug this back in. There we go, you can see that, I'm losing my monitor here a bit, but you can uh, see that it's actually verbose logging on the uh, smart card, and you can get both insertion and when you take it out as well. Um, it's not just limited to this form factor, there's lots of other form factors. Uh, for example, um, 
I have a uh, PIV YubiKey that's right here. It's USB-C. So if I plug that into the back of this uh, Mac Mini, it's kind of nice. That has this. I plug it in. You can see that it, aside from wanting to uh, present as a keyboard, you see it will show up inside of uh, Smart Card Utility. And you can disclose and see that I actually have four cards in there. Smart Card Utility is not li limited to just one Smart Card Reader. So you can actually have multiple cards in here at one time as well. So you can see both of them and be able to go in and be able to investigate them. Um, so that's it for Smart Card Utility. Go ahead and it's a, currently a free download on the App Store. So go ahead and download it and check it out. And uh, make sure that you like and subscribe to these videos because... Uh, That'll help me have more pe help more people be able to find them, as well as uh, let you know when new ones are available um, as I can do more and more of these. So thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe, and be sure to like this video. Thanks.